The family of small farmer Getúlio Machado is among some 6,000 people sheltered in several buildings of Brazil's Lutheran University, Ubra, and the southern city of Canoas, in Rio Grande do Sul state. Machado showed us pictures of his property completely covered in water. His home and the rice fields he standed for the last 30 years are completely destroyed. The water invaded our property, breaking everything and taking it all away. But the important thing is that I was able to save my family, and that's what matters the most, life. We lost everything, but our will to rebuild it all is strong, though it's very difficult after 30 years. We need help, otherwise it will be extremely challenging. This circus family, along with several of the artists who worked with them, also had to seek shelter at Ulbra. They had set up the circus tent, the carnival attractions and the trailers where the artists lived just a few weeks ago in an area that experienced some of the worst flooding in the region. We have lived through many hardships and problems traveling on the highways and roads. We face cold and even storms bring down our tent. But nothing compares to this. I remember when I looked back and saw a wave. The water was coming and we were running. It felt like a movie. Private institutions, public authorities and volunteers are all struggling to manage this emergency. But even after the flood waters recede, the problems will persist. Many people have lost everything and will have no home to return to. Not only have homes been destroyed, but the infrastructure in cities like Canoas in the metropolitan region of Rio Grande do Sul's capital, Porto Alegre, has also been severely affected. Reconstruction will take time and money. Donations are pouring in from all over Brazil to help the victims, but that does not solve the long-term issues that will arise from this disaster. We have heard from state authorities that we will need a plan here, almost a Marshall Plan, to rebuild the state. People have been forced into shelters and many of them might remain here for 60 days. The mayor's idea is, as far as possible, to gradually relocate some of those who are here to better structured shelters. Weather forecasters say there is still a risk of more storms in the next few days. But for now, waters are slowly receding and revealing the destruction left behind. Paulo Cabral, CGTN, Canoas, Brazil.